So I've had this 1979 Cherokee Chief for a while now, and I have come to love this old guy. But boy, there are some things that definitely need to be addressed now that I've had it for a while and I've gotten to know it. And so in this video, my son and I are out here. We're gonna go hit the trail, but we're gonna talk about the things that need to be fixed on this old classic truck to make sure that we can start doing some longer trips. Stay tuned. Welcome to Trail Recon, I'm Brad, and today in this video, what I wanna do is talk about the things that need to be addressed on the 1979 Jeep Cherokee Chief. This thing runs good, and I enjoy driving it, but before I take it out on some longer trips, there's some things that definitely need to be addressed. So what we're gonna to do today is my son and I are out here, we're gonna have a good time on the trail, but I'm gonna talk about the things that we're gonna be working on, and we're gonna actually make some videos for, which wasn't the plan originally, but I was having a hard time finding some good content out there, so I figured, you know what, I'm no expert, but I'll bring you guys in the garage. We'll do some repairs, talk about some things that need to be done. Um, but we just need a good foundation for where we're starting from. And so that's what this video is. Today, my oldest son and I are out here on one of my favorite local easy trails, Black Mountain Truck Trail. This is an up and back trail that starts at just around 1,000 feet in elevation and winds its way up the mountain to just over 4,000 feet and offers some great views at the top, which we'll show you here at the end of the video. The trail only takes you a couple hours depending on how often you want to stop in and soak in the views. It's rated as easy, but know that during and for several days after a rain, the rangers will close to help preserve the conditions of the trail. Now, this is my son's first time driving the Cherokee Chief off-road, and it was pretty cool to see his reaction. It wasn't long before he was commenting about just how much he loved this old truck. There's just something visceral about driving a classic off-roader. It's a bit rough, it's a little loud, and it's lacking on many of the creature comforts that a modern off-roader has. But it's just pure and simplistic, and with some basic tools, you can repair just about anything pretty easily without having to worry about an assortment of electronics. However, I do have a growing list of maintenance and repairs that I need to address on this old chief before I consider taking it out on longer multi-day adventures. Let's climb the mountain a bit and I'll find a spot where I'll tell you about the work I'll be doing on this old guy here in the near future. Okay, let's take a few minutes and run through my repair and maintenance to-do list, and then we'll finish climbing this beautiful mountain. The first item I'll be tackling on the Chief is the cooling system. I'm not sure what the previous owner's challenges were, but I think he may have been having some overheating issues, and that's why it added the hood louvers, and perhaps he removed the thermostat. 
So I need to install a new thermostat so it quits running so cold. And while I'm at it, I'm just gonna throw in a new radiator, new fan shroud, new fan clutch, new hoses, just so I have that peace of mind that all that stuff is good to go. The Chief rarely gets up to operating temperature unless it's a hot Southern California day or I'm spending a day like today climbing a mountain slowly. I need to ensure the cooling system is operating as it should. The next priority is the steering. There is just too much slop in the steering wheel and even with the upgraded steering linkage and the correct drop pitman arm for this lift kit, it's still not as tight as it should be. So I'll be working my way through many of the items that could be causing this and I have a few ideas on how to tighten this up just to make it manage these 33 inch tires a little bit better. Next, at the beginning of the video, you may have noticed that it took a minute to kick over the engine. And this is actually very typical when the Chief is a little warm, starting it up just takes a minute. When it's cold, one step on the gas and it quickly wakes up, but there is some throttle hesitation when you're driving around until it starts to warm up a little bit. So retuning and rebuilding the 1406 Edelbrock carb is kind of a priority. And then I can take a deeper dive into the auxiliary fuel system, which is not connected right now, but something I would like to have connected down the road because it would be nice to have that extra fuel capacity. And now for the suspension. While it's kind of expected that a solid axle Jeep on leaf springs is going to be a little rough, but this guy is definitely rougher than the others out there. I've driven in some other Wagoneers and Cherokees. I think the leaf springs were from a budget manufacturer and they're just so stiff. So I'll be swapping them out for a more well-known brand manufacturer, something a little softer. Spending more than a day out on the trail in this rough ride can be just a little much. Also, the brakes need to be serviced. While the Chief stops okay, I don't know when the last time these brakes had any work done and they just really need to be gone through. But also of interest, while filming this video and going back and watching some of the footage, the driver's rear brake seemed to be locking up on its own from time to time. So I think a little further inspection here is warranted. The last must-do item to address is the electrical, and admittedly, not my favorite thing to work on. But forcing myself to dive into this is going to be important. The Jeep has some electrical gremlins all over, and I've spent hours chasing wires. And while I've sorted out a few items, there is still a lot more that I have to get sorted. The big question though is, do I keep chasing wire after wire, or is it time to just bite the bullet and rewire the entire vehicle? Something I've never done before and not really excited about, but that's an internal bait I'm having and I may end up actually having to do that. Okay, so those are all the items I would classify as essential, but there are some other things that I really want to address, but they're not really top on the priority. One is the air conditioner, and my good buddy Ryan helped me design a mount to install the air conditioner, but this air conditioner is not plug and play, and so there's a lot more work that needs to be done here. Hopefully by the summer, I'll have this up and running. The brake booster and transmission both have small leaks, but they're not a big deal and they're easy enough to fix down the road. And of course, the paint and body quotes that I've been getting for all this work, well, they've been pretty high. So I'm not sure how long it's going to be before that project gets knocked out, but boy, it would be nice to have a new paint job on here. I did do a lot of interior work, had some good guys help me out with putting in some new carpet and some sound deadening, and then they recushioned the seats and reupholstered everything. These seats are 10 times more comfortable than they were before. Lastly, there's the rear window. It works, but it doesn't work great, and so I think a good motor and gear service would make this so much better. So I suppose this seems like a big list of items, but I don't plan to do it all at once. And honestly, if it keeps this old guy running on the trail, it's totally worth all the effort. So a little at a time, starting with the cooling system. Okay, what do you say we finish climbing this mountain?
Well, I'll tell you what, there's nothing like taking an old classic Jeep and hitting a nice, easy, scenic trail like this. It's been a great time out here with my son. And Devin, this is the first time you got to drive this. What'd you think today? Oh, it's amazing. There's just so much character to it. Yeah, absolutely. Character is the right word. I mean, you are got a visceral feel when you are driving an old classic vehicle off-road like this. I love it. But there are many things that we're going to start addressing. And hopefully this is a good foundation for a beginning. So the first thing we'll be doing in the garage here soon is addressing the cooling issue because I want to make sure that one it's heating up like it should and two it's not overheating uh, like we don't want and then we'll start addressing all these other things and so we'll be doing some videos you know maybe once or twice a month uh, don't hold me to like once a week or anything this is just gonna be you know a good fun project and enjoy working in the garage and I'm gonna share it with you so I hope you've enjoyed uh, hanging out with us here out in the trail today it really has been an awesome day Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.